Uh, we are here at Ultimate Lacrosse. It is at the corner of Manchester and 141. It's the hard line, 590 The Fan and inside STL.com. 961 Brittany Parkway Drive, that is the address. And joining us now is Nick Silva. He's the head coach of lacrosse at CBC. How are you, Nick? Doing well, guys. Thanks for having me today. We're talking about how youth participation in a lot of sports is down, but not lacrosse. Why do you think lacrosse is surging nationwide and in this area? Well, I think a big thing is just more, more and more kids are getting exposed to the sport, whereas, uh, you know, in the past it had been kind of a niche sport, mostly out on the East Coast and, and, and in the Northeast. Uh, more and more guys are getting exposed to it, and um, I think that it's really, you know, hopefully in the future, obviously as a lacrosse guy, but I'm hoping it's going to keep stealing popularity and kids away from sports like baseball in the spring and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, do you think a lot of hockey guys kind of turn to, to, to lacrosse too? I feel like there, there's a, a lot of that transition. Yeah, I think it's a great – lacrosse is a great crossover sport with hockey players uh the hand-eye coordination i think is huge um up up in canada uh, a lot of the kids are playing hockey growing up in the winter in the fall and then in the summer oh, yeah. they'll play a sport called box lacrosse which is kind of like on an indoor soccer field and it's five on five substitution very similar to ice hockey uh but the canadians really uh they really get after it and beat each other up in there so now speak, speaking of that physicality like it, it, how are the rules i mean is there is there checking in it like if kind of explain the rules of, uh, as far as the physicality is concerned on this game. Yeah, so I think that when I was growing up playing, um, I, I, I think that a lot of people kind of my age would maybe compare lacrosse to how football's gone, TJ, uh, whereas in, in lacrosse you're more and more seeing a lot of defenseless calls and stuff. So um, the sport's kind of moving that way. I was talking. How do you Ro- feel about that? Um, I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm a parent. I have four kids, so I guess on one hand I, 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 I can see it. Um, but on the other hand, as, as a player that kind of went through it and, and, and you know, pl- playing growing up and everything. It just changes and, the strategy so much. It, it mm-hmm. makes things a lot different, for yep. sure. Um, I remember as a player, you'd be very concerned going into the dirty areas oh, to yeah, try yeah. to score in the paint, right, mm-hmm. or in, in the crease. And, it should be. Yeah, <laughs> it hurts. Yeah. Why? It's not supposed to be. You had to earn it. You know, you want to go yeah, score a goal, you got to earn it. It's supposed to be easy going in there. You got to earn it. You right. like, from calling those dirty areas now. <laughs> like going over the middle as, yeah. as a receiver. Right. So, um, oh, God. That lacrosse is still a great game. There's still a lot of physicality. Um, you know, you, it, it's legal to take a, a, a piece of metal, a stick, to go beat somebody up. So I think that's, <laughs> that's, that's, a, cool. that's appealing to a lot of guys, yeah. Um, I'm up for that, yeah. So these slashes they're calling in the NHL, those are, those are legal checks for, for lacrosse guys. There you go. It's not quite a – Just go to your buddy. I signed you up for lacrosse, bud. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Go, yeah, man. I mean, uh, it's not that expensive either, though. I mean, you, I, mean I don't want to downplay hockey and how that – but that's the biggest thing for, for, for the hockey realm things. Like, it's, it's tough getting into. And now yeah. they've they got different packages and things like that, but it's relatively inexpensive to play lacrosse, I, right? I've got, I've got two boys doing learn to play with the Rockets, mm-hmm. so oh, kind yeah. un- understanding what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I think having uh, kids in the area having access to stores like Ultimate Lacrosse, you know, growing up I was ordering everything out of catalogs and getting it shipped from out east. So and another thing, this, you, I think, helps get more kids you, into you it. Have your, you guys can come into a place like this. you got a $25 uh, dollar gift card. You can get a couple things. And you know what you can do? You can go to a nearby field and play lacrosse and throw at something. Like for hockey, you know, either you got to have rollerblades you got to find different things. So this is, like, pretty easy. Like, you can get together. It's like football and pass around. But lacrosse, you can go find your nearby field and, and go – uh, play around man. for lacrosse. A big thing is they, they call it hitting the wall, just finding a brick wall and just oh, yeah. passing, you know, yeah, um, yeah. hitting that, getting your hands going and, and getting the sticks oh, yeah. going. So, yeah, I need to get my hands yeah. going. <laughs> How many schools uh, in the area roughly have men? Um, about uh, about across? 30. Um, so, for the boys' side, it's still a club sport, just like ice hockey. Oh, yeah. Uh, Got to give a plug for both sports. Those are the only two high school sports in St. Louis that have their championships aired on TV. Um, you know, having the mm-hmm. having the mid states finals down no at doubt. Scott Trade and on, on Fox Sports Midwest, cool. lacrosse has done that for the last three years, which has been great. Um, so for the boys area, the boys teams, it's club. For the girls, it's sanctioned by Misha. Now, why so, is it the boys sanctioned? Um, I think that just some of the barriers. One, uh, I, I don't know all the particulars, but I think for Misha, sanctioning has to be a statewide vote. So you have to get all the out state counties that don't sponsor sports like lacrosse mm-hmm. or ice hockey to vote for it. Yeah. Um, also, you know, girls lacrosse, all they wear are these, uh, these goggles right here. So it's a lot uh, – there's less equipment to kind of get into playing the sport for girls. So I think that ends up being a little bit cheaper maybe for some of the school districts to then be able to, cool. to pick it up. So Rock didn't wear a cup when he played, <laughs> and he was a goalie. But now That's he not true. That is not true. But now there's no, no, there's, there's he, no way Rock didn't wear a cup. He said he played – how long, Rock, did you play? Uh, a year and a half. How long? Rock says a year and a half. 
Rock okay. steady week. So what a would cop. be your? Uh, you got you got to give Rock some credit. It takes it takes some stones to hop in the. Game. <laughs> yeah, he got <laughs> smoked. and stole it from work. No so it's a problem for him. Well, it takes stones. It really <laughs> takes no stones, <laughs> and that's how you do it. Cam is obsessed with the coverage of it's that just area. Insanity. So does every Cam wants to know? Does everybody wear a cup on the field? He's really curious. Uh, I don't really care that I, much. I, I played midfield. I never wore a cup. We when I played, either, man. Um, <laughs> defensive player, you know, as a coach, as an offensive player, I tell guys to shoot through the defender because if they don't get out of the way the first time, they will, they, they yeah. will the next. Yeah. So, I, you know, as a coach, I'm stressing my defensive guys to wear cups, um, obviously. Uh, ultimate, it's hard to run, man. Ultimate Mike over there, the goalie, um, he wears a hockey goalie cup. So I know oh, a lot of the lacrosse goalies. You know what's up, then. You can go stand in front of traffic with one of those things. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Try that rock it, real yeah. quick. Manchester's right there. Uh, <laughs> Mount Rock doesn't wear a cup. Remember. Oh, that's right. I wouldn't uh, suggest never that. mind. Nick, what uh, if you had a, a parent or a, a child thinking about lacrosse, why, why lacrosse maybe over a, another sport? Why is lacrosse special in your mind? Um, I th- so, you know, like I mentioned, i got a couple boys that are starting to play, learn to play hockey. Uh, my oldest boy, he's in first grade, so we did baseball with him last summer. You know, sign your kid up for baseball. Go, go, go check it out. Um, my son's out there digging in the dirt. Yep, that was my Picking um, right. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> what so, kind of fight, guys? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just think lacrosse, there's a lot more action. And I think another big uh, thing that appeals to kids is not too many of their parents really know what's going on. So <laughs> that could not time out. That could be a problem. No, well, it's a good thing. They can't come home and yell at you. They have no idea if you did anything. But wrong. if they do, they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. But so, so, that, you know, so you're not getting an earful from your old man about right. you need to be doing this. or why didn't you do this out <laughs> there? Keep your eye on the ball. Yeah, There's yeah. an your hands that, that, that I get, I get that. Looks like you played all right. What'd you think? I don't know. Okay. So how do you, what is the best way for somebody to get into it? Cause because it's so new to the Midwest here, what, what's the best? Yeah. So I think there's a lot of great youth programs in the area. Um, Lou Fuse athletic. So they were a big soccer club um, in the area. Yeah. Uh, they, they leased out Rams Park, so they started a lacrosse club. Yeah. Um, so they have a lot of uh, younger age teams that are good options, um, I think, for, for kids to get involved. It's a spring sport, so like I said earlier, it kind of butts up against baseball. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's kind of when the, the main season is. Um, but even across the country, the box lacrosse that we talked about, the indoor lacrosse, is really starting to explode. Um, an outdoor game, there's 10 v 10. So, uh, you, as a defenseman, you can almost not even touch the ball the whole game. Not I see. Look, stick. I know how that is. Hey, so can't but, that. I but, it, that. but, it, but it, in box, box, you know, it's a lot more, a lot more touches, mm-hmm. um, a lot more touches on the ball. So I think it's like better for youth development, kind of like cool. a hockey model. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you very much uh, for joining us, yeah. Nick, and uh, keep up the great work spreading right. the word. Right. Oh yeah, my man. Thanks, guys. Nick cool. Silva. He is the head lacrosse coach over at CBC, talking about the growth of high school lacrosse in St. Louis. And if you need equipment, they take care of all of your needs here at Ultimate Lacrosse. Come on out and see them. Nine sixty one Brittany Parkway Drive, corner of Manchester one forty one. We're giving away a twenty five dollar gift card. So stop on by. Uh, just mention that you would like to be in the drawing for that gift card. They'll post the winner on the Ultimate Lacrosse Facebook page. <laughs> we are at the Vincent. Mortgage Mobile Studios at Ultimate Lacrosse, 961 at Brittany Parkway Drive, the corner right. of Manchester mm-hmm. and 141. And the co-owner of this fine establishment, Wheeler Compton, joins us now. How are you, sir? Doing great. It's hey. a pretty cool name, by the way. I'm just gonna oh, thanks for Wheeler. Much. Yeah, when well, you said yeah, yeah. Wheeler, I thought that was your last name. Nah, first. that's bad. Well, it is. It's a family name. So. It's cool, man. Um, yeah, thanks for coming out. It's been great so far. Absolutely, dude. What, uh, how did you get into this business? Well, uh, my partner and I actually used to work for a... Uh, a lacrosse retailer that was here in town. Uh, they were owned by a hockey retailer. It went bankrupt last year. Um, so when they were bought by another hockey retailer from the East Coast, they basically didn't have any interest in Midwest lacrosse. So they closed the stores. Um, but we saw how passionate our sort of um, customer base was, how much it was growing, and how they could support a lacrosse store because our store did really well. Um, and so we just decided we can do it. We can do it a little better. Um, and we've had a great response from the community so far. How long have you been open? Uh, we opened in July. Uh, season is only about a month away now, so things are really ramping up. What has been, we talked about this a little bit with Nick earlier, the CBC head coach. Talk about the growth of lacrosse in this area, what you've seen. Well, it's unbelievable. I mean, I and Mike and I actually have been playing and involved in St. Louis lacrosse for over 20 years. Uh, we started out, you know, 10, 8, 10 years old. Played in high school, went away, played in college, and then came back and um, coached youth in high school lacrosse. And the skill and the, the gameplay has gotten so much better since when we started out. It's amazing. You see, you know, 11 U kids now that are shooting faster than I can as an adult. They're doing toe drags. They're, they have the best footwork. What I've are those? Ever seen. 
<laughs> similar, similar to, uh, so to what you guys. Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah. Cam didn't, couldn't do that. I've seen a lot. He's well, seen yeah. guys do it. No, they're shooting, shooting underhand, low to high <laughs> risers, and and it's just amazing uh, how good the sport has gotten and the gameplay has gotten here in town. We, you know, we compete with some of the other bigger metropolitan areas uh, across the country. Yeah. We have club teams that go to national showcases and dominate. So you know, it, it really says a lot uh, about the lacrosse community here in St. Louis. What's the next step for lacrosse growth here? You think? Well, I mean, I definitely see it uh, exploding in, on the girls' side. It's getting bigger. Yeah. A lot of colleges in town are adding it. Uh, we have a new Division II women's program at Maryville. Uh, they have a Division II men's program as well that's only a couple years old. Um, but high school, I can see, you know, with the growth of the youth, you have more and more kids in high school. It's going to – eventually I can see it as a state-sponsored sport um, because I don't think that necessarily the cost is that much of a hurdle for us to get over so is it is it going to be like soccer you think it's like soccer is now is that lacrosse's future to be a, a real growth sport with young people well it could be i mean one of the great things about soccer is that it's sort of non-stop uh gameplay action and in lacrosse you know you rarely have whistles i mean the ball goes back and forth there's a lot of scoring it's really attractive to a lot of kids no offense but i'd rather watch lacrosse than soccer yeah. well <laughs> I, mean, I really would well, that's that's the main difference you know no you offense. have a, a one to nothing game i don't know soccer, no offense. To, i guess to you eric no i don't like soccer oh no the rock that's who it is uh, yeah, I mean, we have we have soccer. game scores for us is more like 15 to 12 there's a lot of scoring and it's <laughs> See, a lot. i like that it's like when cam yeah. was on the ice a lot yeah, of scoring. a lot of people <laughs> scored on me a lot yeah. of people scored on me especially when i stuck out through a dad suit but that's all right because you scored back. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Damn you, dude. <laughs> like three times you did. Jeez, I did a couple of times. One without a stick. You averaged a third of a goal per year. Yeah, not bad. It's Is not there bad. a professional <laughs> lacrosse league in the country? There's a couple, actually. There's a professional outdoor league called Major League Lacrosse, MLL. Uh, and there's also an indoor league. Uh, we were talking earlier about the box lacrosse. It's called the National Lacrosse League. And that league is actually doing really well right now. Huge interest. You know, they're packing some of the Canadian cities and, and in America. They get 12,000 people yeah. at their game. Oh, I've wow. heard about that. A lot of my wow. hockey buddies play yeah. lacrosse up there, man. Yeah. They, they pack it. Is there fighting? Uh, it used to be a lot more uh, uh, prevalent than it but what, is what is the What is the penalty? Is it similar to hockey at all? Yeah, or I mean, are you booted? Penalty box. No, there's, I mean, for fighting? For fighting, it's you like get kicked a major, out. Of, you know, so, so it's like a five, it was, but you yeah. stay in the game because that's the yeah. big. Yeah, oh, really? Back. Because yeah. there's some, if you go on YouTube, there's some badass fights, man. They go toe to toe. It's pretty well, cool. Well, yeah, I mean, and it's, you know, you're not standing on skates, too, yeah. so you can sort of really square up. Yeah, 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 I hear you on that, no doubt. And But you, you're skating so long, it's just like walking anyway at that well, point. No, so, <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, man, it's pretty cool stuff. They go toe to toe. It's it's a, it's a cool sport, it really is. A lot cooler in soccer. Is, no uh, offense. Is there a close, at any close team around here to st louis in either of those leagues or well not not in the mll or nll i mean chicago has uh and and dallas now has a new nll team you know atlanta so it's getting bigger in the south but um we here in st louis actually have a semi-professional team uh called the st louis centurions they play in the box lacrosse league um and they were undefeated won the championship this year mike my partner was the goalie for the team they had a great year, and they play up at uh, Midwest Sport Hockey uh, at Queenie Park. We got, you know, maybe five, 600 people at the games. It was awesome. Uh, Kelly Chase has texted me. I guess he's listening. Of course he is. Uh, he said lacrosse was sold out in Saskatoon, where he's from. That's awesome. I love to hear it. And actually, we were, as we said earlier, the Canadian lacrosse brand, sort of the style of play, is actually getting really popular in the college lacrosse in America. You see Canadians coming down here, going to Duke and UNC, and they're dominating. They're, they love it, man. And so that's actually why box lacrosse is – so important now at the youth level it's getting really big here in st louis uh, i think this year we had 600 more kids playing box lacrosse than last year wow and because it's a different skill set that it's really important for kids to learn um and we have uh some of the only box pads here in town and we actually have sold out of them twice we we can't keep them really? on the shelves yeah wow uh, thank you so much for having us out here today, and we want everyone to come out to register for this $25 gift card and also give us a shout-out uh, if they're a coach, and we'll mention their team yeah. on the air. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Th- Thanks, appreciate Wheeler. that, man. We appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely, we'll Thanks, be here guys. coming up next couple weeks, too. Yeah, Wheeler, right we're going to be here the second Thursday of the month through June. That's Wheeler Compton, co-owner right here at Ultimate Lacrosse. Make sure you check this out. It's at 961 Brittany Parkway Drive, the shops at Highland on the corner of Manchester and 141. Uh, 